hey guys welcome back to my channel so this morning I just colored my hair using a recommendation that I couldn't get my hands on back in 2020 because you know it was hard to get anything then um and I finally got my hands on it I actually found it on walmart.com I searched everywhere I searched Target I searched um Walmart at the time I searched she said she got it at like the Dollar General and I searched their website. I couldn't find it anywhere. Well, I'm hoping that this is the correct one, but it's the Schwartz Gabrov Got to Be Metallics in the shade Smoky Steel. And she said that she wanted to see what it would look like on me because my hair is already previously colored and she wanted to see if it would give off a like a charcoal like metallic color so i'm hoping that these are going to be the results that she was looking for and i'm hoping that this is the color because this is like the darkest of the dark out of this line that i could find and um i didn't know if it was the smoky steel that she wanted or she said like platinum steel or something but she wanted to see if it would be like a nice charcoal smoky you know that whole thing so anyways, um, before we get into that, let's go over my thoughts on this color. So first of all, this color itched and irritated my head like crazy. And I really like Schwartz Kaproff. Like usually I don't have many issues with them and I love their colors, but this one I'm not really a fan of and I have a whole list <laughs> but first it it just itches and I don't like a hair color that just makes your whole head itch the whole entire time and it it was unbearable and usually when I have a hair color that's so unbearable I wash it out right away but this color was so light that I wanted to make sure that it covered so I could do a perfectly good review on it. So I just kind of sucked it up and I, I did it for the full 30 minutes, even though it was painful and itchy, but I did. So this color contains PPD. It did not cover my regrowth and I'll get more into that in a few minutes. Um, I'm not sure it's going to last in my hair because it doesn't say anywhere on the box if it's 100% like gray coverage or anything. So I'm not sure it's going to like stick to my hair. Um, I feel like it wasn't dark enough. Usually on the box, you never get the color that you get. It's always darker. So, which I'm okay with, but it is like this light and... Um, I was expecting it to be darker, even looking at like the color swatches of what it would look like on different shades. I was like, okay, that took, that definitely looks dark. It looks like it's my type of hair, like my dark type of hair. And it would just be a little darker with like the smoky vibes to it. Um, it didn't have an overpowering scent. It, it does smell like hair dye but you don't need like ventilation or anything for it. And yeah, I'm not really a big fan of this color for a few reasons. A, it itched and two, B, <laughs> A, B, one, two, whatever. Um, it didn't cover my, my roots right here. It looks perfectly fine from a distance, but if I get closer, Maybe it's only me because it's my head, my hair. I know what I'm looking at, but I had an inch of regrowth and I don't know if it already started washing out towards my scalp, but it's not the same color. If you can see, it's got like a purpley brown is what it's giving my roots right here. If you look. When I move it in the light, you can see it's a different color than what the rest of my hair is. 
And to me, that drives me crazy. Because when I color my hair, I like a once and done fix. Like I'm coloring my hair to cover up my unwanted grays and my roots. So I want my hair to match from root to tip, root to end, whatever you want to call it, and be done. I don't want to have to sit there and have to recolor my hair like the next day or the next week. I don't want to have issues. I don't want it to fade fast. I don't want it to do any of that. I want it to be like seamless. I mean, some people do like the the lighter roots, darker tip. Some people like the darker roots, lighter tip. I'm like the type of person that roots just drive me crazy. When I had red hair, every time my hair grew, I was coloring it. it damaged my hair completely because having red hair, you have to bleach it before you color it to get it that perfect red that you want. And like, I just could not stand roots. It drove me nuts. Some people are totally unbothered by it. They can go months and be like, all right, and have like roots down to like here and be like, I need to get my hair colored. And it's like, really? Like you're saying that now? Like I would have been like at like a half an inch. Like, okay, I gotta color my hair. It, that's why black works for me because it's, it blends in with my natural color, so it's not as noticeable. But when my whites come out, they need to be covered. So anyways, if I were to do this color again, which I probably won't, because honestly, this would be a double process. I would need to color my hair like blue black or just jet black or whatever I want, so it matches from root to end seamlessly and then wash it out and blow dry it and then either that day if I have time or the next day go in with this color so that you get like the smoky pearlescent vibe that goes on top of it to make it that way and I think that's the only way I would be able to do it and love it because it would match from head or from like root to tip. It would match completely. And there would not be an issue with the roots fading faster because and being a different color. Because like I said, I color my hair to cover and match the rest of my head and also to find like the perfect blue black shade. But that's what I like to look for in a hair color. So if there's anybody who is like, oh, I really like this color. I think it would make my black hair like a little smokier and like pearlescent. Like if you have roots, cover them before you do this. Just, just a heads up because I already know I'm going to be coloring my hair next week because of my roots. And I'm, like I said, I'm not hundred percent sure if it's the color that made my roots that way, or if it already started washing out because it it's lighter than the previous color I already had on my head. So I'm not sure. I mean, I'll find out more when I wash my hair again next week, if it even sticks. And even when I wash my face, um, I always get so close to my hairline that like, I'll be able to tell if it covers those gray white hairs because usually with the amount of washing every single day and getting so close to my hairline, I end up washing off some of the hair color. So like it technically does like it technically these first little baby hairs always get washed like right away and the color comes off within a week. So yeah. But that's another reason why I didn't like this color is just because of my roots. I mean, I understand it's not noticeable and people are probably thinking I'm crazy by saying that, but when it's your head and you see flaws, you're just, that's exactly where you look when you look in the mirror. When I look in the mirror right now, I'm looking at my roots. 
I'm not looking at how beautiful my hair looks or the the way that it looks so pearlescent and smoky and like that. I'm looking right at my roots because that's where the flaw is. So anyways, moving on to the color. I'm going to turn my light on so that you can see. But um it's so metallic that it it kind of gives me like that salt and pepper vibe like when you have an abundance of gray white hair in black hair it's called salt and pepper for those who don't know um and that's what I get I kind of get like a smoke and, or a salt and pepper vibe because of the way the light hits it like certain pieces of hair like just shine like brighter and metallic-y like gray hair so that's that's the vibe that I get when I'm looking at it but in different lighting it definitely has like a different vibe like it's super shiny and it's like super bright and I'm not sure if that's because of the metallic um tones that are in it but it definitely makes it look really really shiny <coughs> I did get some pictures when I had like five minutes of sun and now the sun is completely gone and I'm hoping that they work in the video so I can show you what it looks like oh my my thing died my light died um because last time I said I was gonna put a video or a photo in and I don't know if they didn't like the effect because I put like a sticker over my face because I didn't have makeup on and I looked horrible when I took the, vo the photo but I wanted to see what it looked like in the sun and it was golden hour at that time and it looked beautiful, but for some reason the video would not upload and I took the video out or the fit. <laughs> I took that photo out and for some reason it uploaded perfectly with no issues. So I don't know. I don't know if they just didn't like the fact that I like altered my photo and it just didn't work so I put it on Instagram but I will put those photos of what it looks like in the Sun in this video and since I had my face done I shouldn't have any issues but if I do just check out my Instagram it's Nina underscore Gilhausen and check it out there so you can see like the results and stuff so but this is what it looks like. It's not terrible. It's a beautiful color. It definitely makes it seem like my hair is a million times shinier than it is. It definitely has the metallic vibes, like I said. Um, it kind of has like a silvery metallic vibe to it. Um, so, yeah, I really hope that this was what... Um, was recommended and I really hope that this was like what she wanted to see and what it would look like um it's a beautiful color I just wish that it was darker and it would cover my roots and like I said I don't fully know if it does cover my roots and it's just washing out already I'm not sure um so yeah, that's my thoughts on this hair color. I really hope that this helps someone. And like I said, I highly recommend coloring your hair first. If you have lighter hair and you are trying to, if you have lighter roots and your hair is dark like mine, I highly recommend like coloring your hair to match and then coloring over. It's just, it's, it's a double process, but if if you have a goal that you're trying to achieve and you don't want to have like um a different color root i highly recommend that but if you have like all one color and you know you're good to go then then you're good it's only a one process but yes so anyways if there's any other recommendations that you want me to try i will like i said do my very very best like i said this one was recommended to me in the summer of 2020 and I wasn't able to get my hands on it until just recently 
and I do check. I do write down every recommendation and suggestion and I try my best to get the exact color. When it's from overseas that I cannot get in, in the United States, um, I always check Amazon and eBay to see if I can find it and get it and if it's cheap enough, I will buy it. Um, I did get my last two that I ordered from Amazon and eBay that I did get from overseas and I will be getting to those soon so stay tuned for those. Um, I'm not going to do any crazy hair recommendations like pink or green or anything like that. It's going to be like blue black or violet blues or, or God, I can't talk today, violet blacks like a purpley black, I will get to those eventually, but I will get to them. Um, <laughs> so I'm trying to do the recommendations that I have now and I have a lot. So I do my best to find what I can. And if I can't find it in that exact color, like if you recommend to me, like, um, like a color that's got like numbers and letters, and I can't find that exact number and letter, I will try to get it in a color that I would use, like a blue black or just jet black if whatever's available, and try it in that. Because like every place is different. So like every country and state and stuff are all different. So um, their numbers and letters of color and name of the color are different, but I'll get to it. I will try my best to get the exact color for you to see. So, so I can review it for you and yeah. So leave your recommendations in the comments below and I will see what I can do. Um, don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to check out my Instagram page. I always do updates and stuff like on how well the color washes and if it starts, if it bleeds, if it does like anything crazy, I always like take pictures and let you guys know and see if it like holds up for great coverage and stuff like that. So yeah, always check out that it's Nina underscore Gilhausen and yeah, I'll see you next time guys. Bye.